Joining me right now, Republican Congressman from New York, Tom Reed. Congressman, good to have you here. Great to be with I you, I would Trish. think that we could exert an awful lot of economic pressure on our allies like the EU, on trade partners like China, should we decide to. Am I right? I think you're absolutely right. It's time to ramp up maximum pressure on Iran and tell them their type of behavior and their commitment to get a nuclear weapon is just not acceptable to us. And we put pressure on everyone across the world to unite the effort to make sure Iran never gets a nuclear weapon. And we know, Congressman, that they're already struggling. They're already having difficulty in their economy. We're already seeing how fed up people are with the sanctions that have already been there. So you start putting more and more on. And if you start saying, OK, hey, Europe, you're not going to be able to buy all that oil from Iran, at least not if you want to do business with the big guys, meaning us, does that actually start to curb and change behavior? Oh, I think it absolutely does. And, and it sends a message uh, to the rest of the world. Who are you going to stand with? Are you going to stand with us as America, as the United States of America that has brought so much peace and prosperity to the world? Are you going to, or, or are you going to stand with extremists in Iran who want to commit mischief and de destabilize the entire world? And I think it's a pretty easy answer. I think most yeah. people will stand with us. I, absolutely stand with America. I think you're right. I mean, but then you get actors like China out there. We were just showing upwards of 20 percent of oil exports from Iran are going to China. China, we've seen, has been a big violator of any sanctions they sign on to. I mean, you look at North Korea, for example, and they were still importing coal from the North Koreans, even though they told us they weren't and that they wouldn't do it. So how do we then enforce this with the likes of, say, China? Well, and that's a, well, you call them out and you and you put the public pressure on them that that uh, would bring to China and others to say enough is enough. You either choose your side, choose Iran or you choose us. And I think at the end of the day, they'll choose us because America has stood strong, strong for generations. And I think at the end of the day, that type of transparency needs to be held against Iran. Um, so what's this mean for their path towards nuclear uh, arsenal? In other words, well, think, if they don't have the money, right, it's going to make it a whole lot they harder. Don't have the, yeah, sure, and absolutely. If they don't have the money, also, uh, they're going to have great internal problems. And, and we're not looking for regime change, but at the end of the day, you know, there has to be a choice uh, that Iran has to commit to. Do they want to continue down Why this extreme a regime path change? or do they? Well, that, that's up to the people within Iran. And, and mm -hmm. I would say that if uh, this sparked a democratic uprising and we send them we should send the message like we didn't in the past we stand with those that stand for democracy in Iran and we show our support for that from afar historically this was a country that was at one point in time a, a whole lot better off than it is right now absolutely well I think it's better off for an elite few uh, that are in the power uh, range but for the uh, people on the streets absolutely there's a better outlook and a better future for them if they join no, in, but they once a had a much more situation. progressive society, a more fair society, um, if we go uh, back historically. Absolutely. I, I think there's a great path forward for the people of Iran to join the responsibility of, of the world where a non-nuclear uh, commitment would bring them to. All right. Thank you very much. Congressman, good to see you. It's always good to be with you, Trish. Congressman Reed.